Dear Jabosa has been tracking the headlines, and we're learning ever more about Gemini today, Dear Joe. Yeah, Kelly, there's a lot of technological advancements that matter deeply to developers. We can hear the cheers and applause from the amphitheater right beside me. Um, for our audience, though, probably the biggest announcements so far have been the expansion of SGE, that's Search Generative Experience, and Project Astra. Let me get to both because they have implications for Google's business model. Senator Pichai said that the company is launching what they're now calling AI overviews in search across the U.S. It'll be available to all users by the end of this week, and they're going to roll that out to different countries, more countries throughout the rest of the year. And that means that the way we search, what we know of search, 10 blue links, that is going to be changing. There's been all these questions over whether Google would disrupt its current business model. I wouldn't say that this is an entire disruption, but this is sprinkling more generative AI into traditional search queries. And that is going to look different for users, for advertisers, for merchants. So that has major implications. The other thing that was just announced was Project Astra. This is a universal AI agent. And as I watched that demo, I couldn't help but think that this is certainly what OpenAI was trying to front run with its demo yesterday. This is less of a chatbot, more of an AI assistant or an AI agent. I want to show you some of the demo that they just showed a few minutes ago in the amphitheater. What neighborhood do you think I'm in? This appears to be the King's Cross area of London. It is known for its railway station and transportation connections. Do you remember where you saw my glasses? Yes, I do. Your glasses were on the desk near a red apple. That last part kind of blew me away, blew the audience away as well, because what you didn't see was earlier on in that video, it had seen glasses. Even you looking through your camera might not have noticed that. But AI agents have memory and they have reason. And this is really a new era of generative AI that's going to have enormous implications. There was another part of that demo where the user is not looking through her phone, but she puts on a pair of AI glasses. This is what you're seeing right now. And it seems to work a lot better. So it does also raise this question, what is going to be the device of the AI era, even when we watched OpenAI's demo yesterday? Um, the kind of when you're awkwardly holding the phone to show your work, it's got to be a better way. It is certainly a throwback to Google Glasses. I don't know if you guys remember that, but a lot is shifting this week and a lot is on display here at I.O. So, um, you know, the audience here is digesting it and developers digesting it, Wall Street as well, certainly. On that note, we are going to be sitting down with Sundar Pichai later today in the 4 p.m. Eastern hour to talk all about what was announced. We will look forward to that. Thank you very much, Deidre Bosa.